Cro-Magnon times, about 20,000 to 40,000 BC is when you begin to see clear evidence of art. This is a horse that's been carved out of mastodon ivory. And that's significant in terms of development, right? Because man is the only creature that produces something for his own pleasure other than God. That's one of the characteristics that, that we see in God and we also see in man. Animals don't create things for their own pleasure. If you go into a beaver lodge, no artwork. Nice design, very nice and sturdy, but you're not going to see like home sweet home carved in the side. There's, there's no art, but man does produce art for his own pleasure. And uh, every time there's a naked woman, they say it's some fertility goddess, has some religious significance. But it just could be Ice Age pornography, who knows. But these are fertility goddesses from uh, Ice Age times. Here's a woman carved from ivory and um, usually very stylized. You see the different forms? They're minimalist, aren't they? They just emphasize the parts they were interested in. But um, there was one Ice Age artifact that was uncovered that's not minimalist. It's not stylized, you see here. This one. It's pretty realistic, isn't it? Matter of fact, it's so realistic that when it was recovered in the antiquities market, everyone assumed that it was a forgery, a fake, and not a very good one because it's not very stylized. Didn't the forger know that Ice Age man did not depict realistically like this? But what was fascinating is it, is it gained more and more attention. A museum finally did a core, did a very tiny core of it to analyze the ivory and uh, very quickly determined that there's no way that this could be a forgery because the ivory, the shape of the face, actually has a, a um, disturbed zone from the surface that goes deep into the ivory. There's no way to, to change that unless it's existed in that form for thousands and thousands of years. And so now most anthropologists believe that this is an Ice Age depiction, a very realistic Ice Age depiction of an Ice Age person, Cro-Magnon. It's one of my friends in uh, Sweden. I'm, just, I'm trying to point out the fact that, yes, that's a big brow ridge and those are big cheekbones. But... Not that much different than people that live in very tough climates. Whenever you live in a very harsh environment, your body is under stress and strain, and it reacts in certain ways and produces bone mass. This is an Ice Age floppy disk. It's not very floppy, though. Ice Age database. At least that's what they think. It looks like a pattern, but they think it's actually data that's being stored. And the, one of the main reasons is because when you take a piece of clay and you press wet clay and you press it and then you pull it out of the hole and you look at what the bottoms of those holes look like, about every four or five holes or so, it changes. The bottom shape changes. And so they believe that it was made by different tools. If someone was just making a pattern, they would have used the same tool. So the fact that they're using different tools would suggest that those dots were made over a long period of time which would mean it's probably storing some kind of information. Any guess what it may be storing? Can you, can you read the, uh, the data off the Ice Age floppy disk? Or say jump drive. Yes. Well, let's see. Uh, each dot represents a day. Well, let's count the numbers, see if we can relate something. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10... 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and then it changes, right? See it's changing direction? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. See that? It's changing directions again, right? 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. See what's happening every 15 dots? It's going back and forth, isn't it? So is that does that support our theory that it's days? 
15 days, 15 day cycles. What's that? Yeah. Every 15 days, the lunar cycle goes from new moon to full moon, right? And full moon to full moon is 30 days, essentially. So the fact that you have 15 dots, would, would it doesn't prove it, right? But it definitely supports the idea that these are lunar cycles. Would lunar cycles be important to a hunter? Yeah, if you've been bait shops, you know. They have calendars that show the lunar cycles a day because fish and animals all move according to the phases of the moon. So it's going to be especially important for an Ice Age hunter to be able to try to map out and know what, to, you know, he just pulls out his jump drive and looks, okay, in terms of planning his hunting party. And so they believe this is, uh, not only is it data, but they think it's data relative to uh, their hunting. At least that's the idea. Mastodon, carved out of Mastodon ivory. There's X's there. Uh, could be kills, who knows? Or it could represent 10 kills. <laughs> but the point of the matter is that it r probably represents something. And so you have an abstraction. You have a symbol that's standing for something else. Here's another. This is the beginning of writing, isn't it? That you have a symbol that stands for something beyond the symbol itself. 